Hi everyone, I recently showed this infrared remote control power socket and most people are like, yeah, it's okay, but we've seen that before. So today I'm going to show you a socket that's controlled via Wi-Fi. So right now I've got this AC fan plugged in and if we press the button on my cell phone, you can see it turns on the fan. And if I press it again, it turns it off. Now not only can I control it from my phone, whether it's a iPhone or an Android phone or even an iPad or other Android tablet, there's also a button on here where I can manually turn it on or turn it off. Now you can probably hear on camera the relay clicking on and off when I press the button. Try and listen for it. Hopefully you can hear that. So there's a physical relay that's clicking on and off inside this socket. So let me unplug it and show you a little bit closer. So you can see this is just a regular 220 volt AC fan. Now, <laughs> this is something strange about this socket. On the front, it's a universal socket. You can take a British plug, an American plug, pretty much a plug from anywhere in the world, Europe, etc. But if you look on this side, what is that? I have no idea what country that plug comes from or why they styled it like that. If it was a classic two pin, I could understand, or if it was the two pin with ground or a British plug, but this, I can't say I know that. Now for me, it's not an issue because mostly I use these universal sockets and I can easily plug it in and fit it into, you know, pretty much any socket in my home. But yeah, very strange that they chose this arrangement of pins. Now the interesting thing as well is not only is this a universal socket, but they've got uh, safety shutters on the front here. Let me show you. If you look at this socket here, if I was to hold this metal screwdriver and then insert it, I would get an electric shock, maybe die. But with this one, they've got safety shutters, so you can't actually touch the live AC. Now, I'm sure if you, you know, put enough effort into it, you could force the screwdriver in there. But the idea is that for kids who like to stick their fingers into stuff, or like to get objects and push them in, they hopefully won't get an electric shock. Now, I'm not going to say it's up to certain standards, because in the UK we have very strict standards about shutters. But at least they've tried, that's something. Now if we look at the back of the socket, you'll see it's rated for anywhere from 100 volts to 265 volts, that's AC of course, and it says the load has to be under 2200 watts. So potentially you could put quite a heavy load on this, although my recommendation would be to try and keep it a little bit lower. But yeah, 2200 watts is a very heavy load. Now using this thing is very simple. Simply plug it into your socket, you install their app, which is called Smart Plug, and then this connects to your Wi-Fi network. So you do have to put in your Wi-Fi password so that the plug can connect to your Wi-Fi network. After that, it's completely seamless. You can place this anywhere in your home and turn it on and off from the app. Now you might look at this and think, oh, I've seen that somewhere else, but it had a brand name on. Well, this is an OEM product. It's like a generic and companies can buy it, put their name on it and then resell it. So you'll find this with various different brands, but they're all the same on the inside and they all use the same app. Some of them do use the branded app, but it's the same basic idea, same basic functionality. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be an AC fan. It can be anything that plugs into the socket. So I'm going to plug in this CFL light bulb just as another example, and then we'll switch it on and you can see it comes on maybe one second lag or one second delay it's really you know pretty real time turn it off off and of course you could even connect an extension lead to this to break it out into multiple sockets instead of just having one socket now for the technically minded people out there um, you should know that only one side of the AC is switched and I can show that with my multimeter if I take this and put it in this empty socket you can see 232 volts AC. So only one side is actually being switched. If I put this back here, you'll see we no longer have the 230 volt AC. So only one side of the AC is being switched. Now, aside from being able to turn a load on and off, I could turn this on and then I could set a delay timer. So I could set this for say 30 minutes and then save that. And what that means is in 30 minutes or 29 minutes, this is gonna automatically turn off. And the great thing about this is that you can completely turn off your cell phone and it will still turn off in 30 minutes because once it's sent the command to this box here, that's it, it's stored in here and this will remember. So even if you turn your cell phone off, it will still turn off after those 30 minutes or 29 minutes. So that's really good because let's say you're using it for a fan in your bedroom, you might want to run it for 30 minutes before you go to sleep and then have it automatically turn off. 
Well, if your fan doesn't have that feature, you could add it using this AC socket. Now, for anyone who's curious, I bought this on eBay for around 10 British pounds, which is around 12 US dollars, and that included free worldwide shipping. So it's, you know, it's not the cheapest, but it's pretty affordable, especially considering how well the app works, how well the socket works, and it does seem to be fairly well built. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.